everybody, it's Stell from Stellwork Studio. Are you tired of crappy women's jeans with crappy pockets that only go in that far? Well, I am going to show you how you can make them go in that far. Or really, however far you want. So, how we're going to accomplish that is by adding an extension pocket to the inside of our jeans pocket. And talk of pins in my mouth. So what, basically what we'll be doing is attaching this to the bottom of the pocket bag inside the jeans. Now the first thing that we need to do is figure out how long we need our pocket to be. And in order to do that, you just wear your jeans stand up straight put your hand down like that and then you're just going to take your pin and pin it right there and then we'll go inside and we'll get started on the project all right let's see if i can show you what i did with these jeans pockets um, you can see that I have, let's see, I have marked the length that I would like for my pocket. I have taken the, the um, inadequate pocket bag and I've cut the lower the, the bottom seam off of the bottom and I have drawn a line where I would like to attach my pocket extension um, looks like it's about an inch and a half up and that gives us just that gives, that just gives it a gives us a decent amount of um, space to fold up um, a hem at the bottom and also have room for stitching to, to make it a nice secure um, um, join. So next we need to measure. So here, let's tip this down so that you can see from our line to our pin is seven and three quarters inches. Um, so we need to add a half inch for the bottom seam and a quarter inch for the top fold over. So this will be eight and a half inches long for, for our pocket piece and then we're going to measure from our seam over to our fold and that's six and a half inches and we're going to add one inch for the seam allowances so that's half an inch at each end so that's or wait we're gonna okay we're at six and a half inches we're gonna add a half inch that's seven then we're gonna double that so 14 inches is going to be our width because we're going to fold it in half and that'll give us a half inch seam allowance at this end. Um, so I've already cut a piece that big um, out of an old um, button down shirt. Let's see if I can raise this up just a little bit here so that we've got a little more field of view here. Get my food utensils out of the way here. <laughs> so I've got my pocket piece cut and you see here's here's the, the um, cut edge, here's the fold. So we've got um, eight and a half inches this way. 14 inches folded in half to seven inches this way. Now to make it a nice strong seam, 
Um, rather than just running it through a serger, because not everybody has one and I don't have mine set up out here, or running it through the sewing machine, because um, sewing machine, you know, seam is fine, but we've I've only given us a half inch seam allowance. So what I did is I'm going to do French seams. So what you, I started at about an inch and a half down, see? So we're, we're lined up pretty much where our line is there. So I started about an inch and a half down and then I stitched a quarter inch seam allowance down this way and then over to this corner here. Um, then I clipped my corner here and then we're gonna turn it inside out like so. Poke our corners out. Yeah, let's see. That's not gonna do the trick. I had blunt tipped scissors. That's that certainly is not going to poke out a corner. Alright, so we've got our corners poked out like so. And we'll smooth out our seams here. And then we're just going to make another quarter inch seam allowance. Maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch. Down this way and this way. And what that does is it completely encloses that seam. So we don't have any raw edges and it's stitched twice. So just a basic running stitch will do the trick. You don't need to do anything fancy. So now that we've got that pocket bag extension um, stitched up, then we will pin it to our pocket. And you see how it's it's really well attached right here, but I want to be able to turn this up about a quarter of an inch um, so that I've got a, a non-fraying edge inside my pocket. So I'm just going to snip it a little here to free that up. And then what I would normally do is I would baste this um, up so that I'm not dealing with very many pins. But for right now, I'll just pin it. So we're gonna work with that piece with this edge folded up all the way around. And then we will take this piece and remember we, we left that unsewn. And here, let's fold that under there. And then we're going to just pop and I've got this piece folded over all the way around. And that's folded in because it's going to lay on top of this fabric. So that will enclose that raw edge. So we're just going to pop that around here like so. I know it's very awkward. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be this awkward. I tried doing this video earlier and oh my gosh, it was so awkward, you guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to reach in from the top here because this is, this is the really awkward part is trying to get this pinned in place. So I'm lining it up with the line here and with the seam over here and making sure that I'm only going through that one layer of the pocket. There. Okay. I'll straighten that out a little. And move over to the next bit here. 
take that and then I can still got it lined up with that line there and just the one layer of pocket and pin that into place okay and then I'm just going to do that all the way around and then we can turn it inside out and do the same thing along here with that basted edge we can just get that pinned into place generally here so that we um, have it all lying flat um, and all together the way it's supposed to be and then once you get that pinned all the way around I'm sorry I'm not going to do all of it because that would make for a really long video and I know that you guys don't like to watch the really long videos all the way through so so we're going to pretend that that is pinned all the way around and then I would just take some needle and thread and, and baste around those two lines that the top area here and then the bottom area here and then once I have that basted in place and all of my pins out of the way then I'll do the actual stitching and what that encompasses is nice neat small stitches along that top edge nice and close same for that bottom edge inside the pocket and then just some kind of stitching in between to keep everything together not shifting and reinforced and i do that both front and back and what that gives you is a perfectly functional deep pocket <laughs> like the guys get in their jeans we can have it too now so there we go real pockets for real women you are welcome i hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.